I have to tell you, I just have a lot of appreciation for this work. This is my fifth workshop and I've been listening to you for a few years. I listen to you just pretty much every day, a little bit of you every day. And it has made amazing, amazing changes. Well, it's and because it resonates with who you are and what you yeah, know. Yeah, it does. But in some ways, we love you so much. Yeah. And we like you to listen and we like you to yeah. tune in. But we don't want to be the condition that tunes That was you. my next question. We know. <laughs> What was my next thing? Of course, we are teachers of the laws of the universe. This law of attraction is so consistent that it will never get squirrely on you. You'll always know where you stand within it. Words don't teach. It's only life experience that teaches. Strange we offer so many words, isn't it? <laughs> but then our words resonate with the life experience that you're living. And then you have that knowing and then off you go again. Right. Yeah. I think what my question was, though, is that you've talked a lot about do things that make you happy do something that's fun if it's listening to music we want to clarify that further okay. we're not just saying occasionally do something that makes you happy we want to say do only what makes you happy right but then we want to add to that be happy at what you're doing right but you because know you have a choice in other words you keep thinking that when we say do only what makes you happy that seems like well then works out <laughs> Can release me. that child right. never go to dinner with that person again but when we say do only what makes you happy what we really mean to say is be happy in what you do right prepare yourself vibrationally so that the universe is yielding to you things that are more potentially happy but you don't know, do anything out of obligation or right. justification or rationalization here it is it's if you could release your need to control the opinion that others have of you. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so big. Or seeking approval from others. Well, that's what we're talking about. I will be this way because I'm trying to control your view of me. So since I know what you think, I will only expose the parts of me that mesh with what you need me to be because your approval of me matters. And we say, That'll make you crazy because everybody's got a different vantage point and they all want different things from you. Most of the world is living a very conditional love and you all have let them train you to try to conform to the conditions that they need. Have you noticed it? Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a person in your life that you really wanted to please? And so you did. And then another person in your life also wanted you to please them, but they wanted different things from you. And so you just did your best to never get them both in the same room at the same time <laughs> because that's where it goes bad. Right. Well, now multiply it by all the people in your life. In other words, you really got to give that up. It's what keeps people from their joy more than all other things put together. You came into this experience and you sought approval because it's nice to be around people who are happy. And you found that when you behaved this way, they were more happy. And when you behaved that way, they were less happy. And so for a while you tried to please them until you found out they were fickle and that what you were doing wasn't the reason that they were happy or not happy. And so when you discover that the way you feel is about your alignment with who you are, it's your alignment with source. As you get into that awareness of that guidance, then you can be unconditionally happy which means there are a lot of people around you that are going to have to adjust but what usually happens is because all of you want to love all of you are innately those who do love and when someone who you love is happy you usually feel good and so demonstrate to everybody that you care about that you are happy by being happy and watch how much less micromanaging they do because so much of their micromanaging is in trying to make it better for you or for the whole you see we like how it's all turning out don't you i love it i do i absolutely yeah. love it and you say you don't want us to I might not be using the exact words, but not to depend on you so much. But when I do listen to you, that's one thing that I really enjoy because I hear something different every single time. It's the same answer, 
but it reaches me in a way that just says, oh yeah, I didn't think about it that way. It's always the same answer. It's always the same answer, but it applies to the various parts of who I am. And Whether, after a while, you'll have the formula down. Start with the things that are easy and let the universe demonstrate to you your alignment. And then before you know it, you can find alignment about everything. And then you will be the all powerful being that you are. Yeah. And what your quest is, is joy. That's what's at the heart of everything that you are seeking is joy. Mm -hmm. The basis of your life is absolute freedom. You are so free. You can choose bondage your quest. The reason that you are here, what you are after your goal, what you live for is joy. And the result of that will be eternal expansion. But we can say this to you in another way. Eternal expansion is yours no matter what. The joy part is optional. You say, mm -hmm. but why would you deprive yourself of the joy that we are all feeling now in your expansion? Do you get that? Yep. Life is causing you to expand. This combination of thoughts, minds, desires, beliefs, conversation has never been before into all of the universe. There has been extensive expansion as a result of this collaborative conversation. We are over the moon about it. In other words, the exhilaration that we feel. Your happiness about it is optional. You get to choose right. whether you're overwhelmed or whether you're in alignment or whether you got a little bit of it. You get to choose all of it. The basis of life is freedom. The reason for life is joy. The result of life is never ending expansion. And once you get into that rhythm, then you've got it. Enough. Enough. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. I love the ease of my world. I love knowing what I know about vibration. I love knowing that it's about frequency and that I can focus. I love the ease that I'm able to frequently accomplish. I love setting this time aside in order to find this feeling of ease. I so love knowing the laws of the universe. I so love understanding my vibrational nature. I so love my understanding of focus and momentum. I love that I can begin this day in a vibration of well being and ease. I really like knowing the sources surrounding me and everyone else, that all who I love is surrounded by this ease. I love activating it in myself in a way that I recognize it and can feel it fully and really own it. I love knowing that. I will be guided to perfect thoughts and behaviors when timing is perfect for doing that. And meanwhile, I sit in ease and eagerness and appreciation for all that is to come. I'm happy about where I stand and eager about what's coming. I know that there are many who are seeking what I'm coming to know. And I'm so pleased that I'm demonstrating it in my own experience in a way that it will be evident in all regards to those who behold me. I feel so happy that I'm able to leave conditions out of the equation of my ease, that I'm able to just find ease by the power of my focus. I so adore non-physical energy who I believe is flowing with ease and perfection around all that is. I love contemplating that there is this atmosphere of well-being that is Focus to all of us and to the degree that we find ease and allow it in we are experiencing this well-being I just love it when my ease begins to expand when I begin to feel the momentum of my vibration increasing to where I begin to feel a sort of eagerness about things not an eagerness that inspires me to action right now but an eagerness of what's coming a sort of optimistic renewal is happening within me and while I know that the timing of action isn't quite yet, I know it is coming. And meanwhile, I feel comfortable in this optimism that is beginning to build within me. It feels to me as if I have access to the power that creates worlds and I'm able to focus it. And I'm loving learning the balance of that focusing because as I focus with alignment, I can feel that I continue to allow the energy to flow to me and through me. It is so exciting to me 
to get into this place of utter well-being and then to begin shining it through my focus in the direction of things that matter to me and I'm adoring this understanding of this unconditional love and focus and energy that's coming to me and I'm finding my way bit by bit I'm finding myself more capable of not putting conditions in my way that block this energy flow I know that I'm getting the handle on this energy flow and I know that I am proficient more proficient in every day as a result of my focus sometimes I get excited and I want to run out ahead of it but always when that feeling comes I can feel uneasiness sort of guide me a little bit and I realize that not quite yet don't act quite yet sit in the knowing of this yet longer find the vibrational alignment of it and watch how my desire is inspiring others to behavior I'm now understanding that my desire does not mean only that I will be inspired to the action that there will then make change I understand that my desire and my holding of this place causes more of a likelihood for others to find the same and the same and the same so it is a larger movement than me just tapping in and doing something about it it's me priming the pump it's me setting the tone it's me finding the place of it it's me shining the light it's me asking the questions it's me readying myself and then it's me watching the results of having accomplished that vibrational environment every day I love finding this place and every day I love watching the results of the place that I found and I am eager to get out and watch that greater expansion and watch the details of that but meanwhile I'm just watching what's happening in my world right here around me right here around me as I show myself this leverage that I am activating as I tap into this energy that creates worlds I believe with everything that I am that I can be or do or have anything that I can influence anything that I desire and I'm so appreciative of the life experience that I have lived that's caused me to focus upon some things that are really important to me and right now I can feel that this is my step three moment this is when I really understand what allowing source energy to flow to me and through me is and I'm eager to get on with step four and I'm doing it a little bit every day but step three is where I reside right now this is the work for me to do so there's no impatience on my part because there isn't anything for me to do I'm not being called to do something I'm not ready to do in fact I will never be called to do something that I'm not ready to do and when I try to push myself to do something that I'm not ready to do that's where the vibrational imbalance comes in so nice to know that source has my back so nice to know that the things that matter to me are underway and so nice to know that my work is to hold this place to hold this knowing and not try to take the role of source not try to be all things to all people not try to be the heart of any movement in the sense of action but be to be the vibrational heart of the movement that is being asked for by the masses I understand that I'm not the only one who put desire in my vortex there are hundreds of thousands and millions and billions of people who have put desire in their vortex that I am helping as I find and own this vibrational place of allowing source energy to do what source energy knows how to do I'm in the right place at the right time doing the right thing and I'm loving my exposure to this life and what it provides for me